Hey guys, welcome back to this place. And if you're new, then welcome here for the very first time. I'm Carmen, and today we are going to be watching The Dragon Prince, season two, episode three, and it is called Smoke and Mirrors. The last episode ended with Callum finding out the truth about King Harrow's death and I am curious as to what the ramifications of that are going to be in regards to him trusting Rayla and their ongoing journey with the Dragon Prince. So let's just get into it. I tried to tell you the king was dead. My stepdad. He was more than just the king to me. Your stepdad. I know. I really tried, but I could never find the right way. And whenever I tried, I messed it up. And the next time it was harder until- Rayla, just stop. I can't talk about this right now. All I can think about is how I'm going to tell Ezrin our father is gone. Yeah. I'm sorry, Callum. No, oh, Ezrin's going to be so sad. I don't want to watch this. We can't lie to Ezrin, though. Like, come on. It was running from that giant hippo? The one made of taffy. Babe, Remember? What the uh, fuck? I think so. I wanted to talk to you about life and growing up and how sometimes there are changes you don't expect. Is this the talk about sandwiches? No, 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 not that. No, definitely not that. Uh, for a long time, I treated you like a little kid and that wasn't fair. You've grown up so much, but when you grow up, sometimes you have to face things you're not ready for. I know. You know? No, he doesn't know that. I know everyone's counting on me to teach Zim how to fly. No, but yeah. that's just the start. Some all he's got is me. Hey, don't be so hard on yourself, Ez. I know it'll be tough, but no matter what, you've got us. Me and Rayla, probably Bait. We're all here for you. Thanks, Callum. That means a lot. But I really wish Dad was here. No. I keep wondering what he would do. When I was little and I wasn't listening to him, Dad would say, Ezrin, you're a handful. So I tried to do that with Zim. Ezimondius, you're a handful. But he doesn't understand. He doesn't even have hands. I guess I just miss Dad. Callum, what's wrong? He's fucking me Nothing up too. Is. I just really miss him too. You have to tell him though. Like, fuck, tell him. And I understand why you couldn't tell me. When you care about someone, it's hard to hurt them. Even when what you're telling them is the truth. I still should have told you. You had the right to know. I think maybe I did know. Deep down, I knew. I just hoped it. if I didn't think about it, maybe somehow it, it wouldn't be true. But he's gone. He's really gone. This episode's sad. What the fuck? have to do it now. Get as far away from them as we can before they even realize we're gone. They're still my friends. But they lied to you. Soren lied to me. Claudia told me the truth. We can't just leave. Leave? Uh -huh. Callum, I have something I need to give you. In private. Oh. Uh. Alright. There's a little blush. So, uh, closed door? Open door? What's, uh, what, what are you, uh... Uh, closed is fine. Closed. Good. Okay. I have something Bold of Callum. Something you dropped. How old is he? That's Can someone my tell letter. You how old these people are? From him. Oh, she's giving. You didn't open it. To him. <laughs> Why would I do that? It's for you. Though, I mean, for the record, I could have opened it and pretty easily resealed it with magic. Wait, did you? Did I? We may never know. I don't know but why that made no, me emotional. No, no. Are you gonna open it? No, I don't think I'm ready yet. How can we figure out if it's help or a trap? There's probably a way. 
Consider the half moon. You already did this. Oh, I was going to say. Hmm. Well, that's really all I've got. Unless you're in need of a spooky monster or fake food. Hmm? Actually, there is something you can do for me. Ooh, a trick and illusion. Oh, yeah. I truly have enjoyed you all sneaking past my defenses and desecrating this sacred place these past few days. It would be lonely. Quiet, but lonely without you. I'll miss you so ah, You don't need the illusion any longer. But I hope it serves as a reminder that someone is always looking out for you. Hmm. Okay, everyone's here now. We can all hit the road. Is that really Ezra and Callum? Just go around this bush corner and see if I can find some berries or something. This bush corner. Oh no, it's a trap. Yep. But why? I thought we were friends. Sorry, but no. I'm just a nice guy and people get the wrong ideas sometimes. He's a nice guy. <laughs> you don't speak sarcasm so good, do you? No, I do not. Her illusion is right. Is she gonna look at them? Can she see? See me on your side. It's just an ordinary mirror. Say you hate me. Say anything. <sighs> A trick? Us? No. Sarcasm. Right. What did you do, elf? Moonstone collar trick. I was right! They were illusions. <laughs> illusions? What? Wait! <laughs> no, they're not. Sadia, right? She can see. <gasps> the dragon! <laughs> we still have the dragon! Come on out, you little dog. Oh, thank God. I hate the moon! We're up in the sky! I'm <laughs> scared. Wanna see how flying feels? Come on, spread your wings! So let's talk about Soren for a minute. I think that he has a really kind of interesting character in that I'm really on the fence about how I feel about him most of the time. I I don't like him, but I like aspects of his character, but I also very strongly dislike certain aspects of his character. So I don't know, it's interesting because he's 
like it was really cool to see him be protective over Claudia when he thought that Callum had possibly hurt her, you know, physically or emotionally, right? And then just immediately afterwards, almost all of his worst character traits kind of came out and I just, I just don't, I don't know. I, I just don't like him at, like in general, overall. He has moments that are amusing and funny, but like, he tried to kill frickin' the dog. Like, bro, what the fuck? I don't know. I don't know. I find I find his character interesting, but I don't necessarily enjoy watching his character. Whereas Claudia, she has moments where she says some kind of fucked up shit, right? Like, when she's talking about dark magic and all that stuff, and like, oh, you just kill these magical creatures, and then you can use their magic, and it's great, you know? It's like, that's actually pretty messed up if you think about it. But she actually has, like, a heart and a soul, and her feelings of care and, and love to some extent for Callum and Ezrin are genuine, and... I find that much more compelling than Soren, who has his moments of being funny and clueless and stuff like that, but yeah. I think they're obviously very different characters and you're meant to feel different ways about them and they're being portrayed in very different ways, but personally I resonate much more with Claudia as a character than Soren, which again I think is the way that it's intended by the writers and creators and actors and all that stuff. So I'm not saying they're doing anything wrong, but I was just very irritated by Soren in this episode and I had to rant about it a little bit, but yeah. I kind of hate that Callum didn't tell Ezrin the truth because I hate when shows do storylines where kept information is a part of the plot, right? Or hidden information that another character knows and could easily tell this other character and it will bring tension later but I, I just don't I just don't like it as a plot point and like shows I love do it like Supernatural's done it a lot of times and it just frustrates me <laughs> to no end because I don't know I just it's just, it's just not my favorite form of tension to bring into to a show, you know? Um, and I understand why Callum isn't telling Ezran the truth. I understand it so much, but I don't like that Ezran doesn't know, and he's the only one who doesn't know. And I understand that it's to protect him and his feelings and his heart and all that stuff, but it's his dad, and he deserves to know, and he deserves to be allowed to grieve in the proper time, you know? He does he deserves to know so he can grieve and grow and mature from it is my feeling. And so it frustrates me that he doesn't know. So we got some furthering of the storyline with Viren and the mirror, which I do now firmly believe is in Zadia. It is a elf, it looks like, who is on the other side of the mirror. And she has this really cool sky, like night sky pattern on her cape and her gloves. I think it's gloves. It could just be her hands. Like it's also seems to be like right here on her cheeks though. So it might just be part of her, her skin. I don't know. It's really cool though. And I love the design of it. At first I wasn't sure if she could see him because the show itself kind of wants you to, wants to drag that question out, right? Can, is this like a two-sided mirror? Or is it one-sided? But at the end, it's definitely two-sided, which is really interesting, and I'm really curious as to where it's gonna go, especially because Viren is on the other side, and he's so anti Zadia and Elves and all this stuff, so I'm really, really curious as to where that's gonna go. That might be, like, the thing I'm most curious to see, because, like, what's gonna happen? Like, what's gonna happen? I just... it's. I want to know. I think it's really cool and it was really smart plan on Rayla's part to figure out before they left on the journey whether or not Soren and Claudia were going to be a hindrance or an asset, right? And so she, knowing which tool she has at her disposal, which is an illusionist, 
uses this illusionist to find out, right? And it's just smart and it's clever and it's good writing and it's good storytelling and I you just know what's going to happen because as the audience, you know, we know what Claudia and Soren's true intentions are. And so to see that play out on screen was really cool and I liked it a lot and it was really fucking sad to see Callum's reaction at the end when he realized and he had to like look at Claudia and see what was happening. I hope that Claudia will redeem herself at some point in the future, realize that she's on the wrong side of this and try to help instead of hurt, you know, so that's my hope for, for that. But it was really cool and I liked the illusion aspect of it. Like I thought that they were going to be illusions and then they were acting kind of robotic in a very like <laughs> Rick and Morty clone clone sort of way. If, you're, if you've seen Rick and Morty in the episode where um, they're in like the Thunderdome and Rick made like the little Morty and Summer clones. Like that's what they were, that's what Ezra and Callum were reminding me of. And so I was pretty sure that they were illusions. So I was happy to be right as well. <laughs> Sometimes my guesses are way off. So it was cool. I also really loved that Aunt Amaya's guy is the one who saved the day because I didn't know if Callum was going to be able to talk her into not doing this. Like I didn't know how they were going to escape, but I really wanted them to escape. And I kind of loved that it was Aunt Amaya's guy that came in. I think. Clovis maybe something like that um at the end and save the day so yay Aunt Maya still helping still helping I want to see more of her again also FYI okay so I think that that is it I don't believe that there's anything left to discuss that I haven't already talked about Zem was really adorable when he was you know flopping his little wings and pretending to fly I don't know if I have any predictions. I really want to know more about the Viren and the two-sided mirror and the possible elf and Zadia storyline. I want to know what's going to go on with Claudia and Soren. Are they going to keep trying to follow them? Are they going to go back home disgraced? Like, uh, how far is this Phoenix? gonna fly them? Is he gonna fly them all the way to Zadia? Is he gonna like drop them off and then go back to the Nexus? Like what's gonna go on there? I don't know. I don't know. But I really like this episode and I really like the direction that this storyline is going and I can't wait to watch more. As always, please let me know what y'all thought down below and until next time. Bye guys!